But here I am with my uh, refurbished EZO 800. It's the Hobby King. Originally it would have been a powered model, so there's previous videos with it already converted as a glider. Um, but what had happened, I can't remember actually what happened, um, but it had been sitting in its box for a while uh, with the, uh, the centre of the wing fractured. Um, it had actually folded once in the past in strong conditions. Um, I guess I repaired it, I do remember repairing it, but for some reason it had uh, fractured again at some other point. Um, but what I wanted to do, because it's a pure slope saw, part of the repair is, because it normally would have dihedral, uh, but now it's a flat wing. Okay, um, still just uh, two channel, so one servo for the ailerons, one servo for the uh, elevator. It's a good strong 15 mile an hour wind. Now when I arrived, um, the wind was coming my favourite direction. Now, to my disappointment, in the time that I've just set myself up, it's now, if I look at my streamer, it's coming from over there. Now it's quite strong, so I should still get some lift um, without the need for power, especially I think with this, but I'm just going to see how it goes. Um, it might be a bit too strong for it. I'm going to go over here actually, at a launching spot. Right, here we go. Okay, <laughs> um, right. So that wind is very strong. Um, the problem is it's not much of a slope at that angle and what's happening is the wind is just racing over the top. What I might, I'll try first is just go down a little bit the hill and launch from there. Otherwise, I'll have to put a bit of weight in, I think. Right, so this time I've managed to sort of get out a little bit. But yeah, you can see it's, it's just too windy for it. It's just not wanting to penetrate. See if I can just get it down. Yeah, I've got it down safely. Okay, that's really disappointing. I was really excited when I got here and the wind was as it was forecast, coming just off north. So uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a bit of ballast under the wing. So I've just put uh, 20 grams of weight at the base of the fuselage, just it's about there, just slightly ahead of the CG. There's a bit of space there. Let's see if that makes any difference. But the, yeah, as I just said, this is disappointing. I'm just turning away from the wind in case there's a lot of microphone noise. Um, very disappointing because the wind, even on my local uh, wind readings, was showing almost north, just slightly uh, west of north. Well, it's a bit better, but struggling. I 
Right. Uh, this time, I was having to use a lot of down elevator. What I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put uh, 10 grams in the nose. Because I wasn't 100% sure what the right CG would be for this. In fact, the um, it's meant to be 65 millimeters back, which, to, to be honest, that looked a little bit far back. Okay, so 10 grams in the nose. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> ah, looks like I can do a little bit of flying, can I? Oh, it's a bit uh, blustery up there. Ah, it's loosening the lift. Right, yes. Okay. Let's try that once more, but I'm going to do a firm launch. No, it's not going to get into the lift. It just can't quite get into it. Oops. Yeah, so uh, it ain't going to happen. Oh well, that was a a good little test of the uh, the airframe, and the, uh, there was no uh, dihedral brace or anything in, built into the wing. So uh, when I built the wing flat, then uh, I put um, a little brace in there. I've just noticed my uh, hatch has popped off. Uh, Okay, well, I think rather than wasting my time, I'm just going to have to cut yet another new one uh, and just make sure. Is that it? <laughs> there it is. Now, why is it all the way up here? I don't know. Anyway, found it. <laughs> 